friends, I found something super cute to do with old coffee cans. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, so I start by taking the wrapper off of the coffee can and then I'm covering it with a chalk paint. This is Savannah, the color is Savannah. I do two coats. Then I take this cute little wooden block and I'm gluing it to the lid. Now the lid is upside down. Then I take some raffia and I didn't even measure it. It's just a, a bunch of raffia. Then I'm gonna put some more glue right by where that block is and I'm gonna glue the center of my raffia right there, okay? Okay, yeah, use the finger protector, friends. It'll save your fingertips. <laughs> then I'm gonna put some more glue on the top and around the, um, the, I guess, the edges of the block. Okay, you ready? Oh my gosh, I can't even wait to see. I can't wait to show you what I did. All right, then we're going to glue all around the edge of the lid, okay? So you're just gonna keep putting that burlap down and then we're gonna cut around the edges. This is just getting the excess off. Then I kind of fray the edges a little bit. Do you, I don't know if you see what it is yet, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, so there's that, all right. And then I'm just gonna add a cute little bow. You could add a flower, you could, whatever. It's just super cute. Um, I'm just using this ribbon that I actually had on hand. I liked the check thing. So anyway, so, all right, do you see what it is yet? So then I'm gonna take my can and I'm just using some chalk and I am outlining some eyes and a triangle nose and then a goofy little, you know, weird little mouth. And you see why I'm using chalk is because see, I made a mistake and I can erase it easily. So perfect. So then I do that. Do you see what it is? It's going to be, a, it's going to be a scarecrow. It's, it's so fun. All right. That's enough. Okay. Um, and then yes, I am using makeup brushes, but I am just color. Now it's just color in, in the lines, right? So I'm just coloring the eyes black. And so that I'm just using, and I suppose you could use markers even, but I'm just using black paint. Um, and then I'm going to put a couple of dashes at the top just for some little eyebrow expression kind of thing. And then I'm going to do the nose and the nose I'm obviously going to do orange. And all of this is chalk paint that I'm using. Um, you could use regular acrylic. That would be fine too. But this isn't anything rocket science, friends. This is easy peasy. Um, and then I thought, you know what? I think they need a little bit of cheek color. So I put a little red circle with chalk and then I just filled that in with red. And then I'm using another, this is an actual paintbrush. And I'm just filling in the black line for the mouth. How cute! And then I use, um, I dot the end of my brush in some white paint and I just put some eye marks on. Look at how cute his face is. Um, and then I just am putting some lines on the nose to make it look like stitches and I'm doing the same with the mouth. Now you could stop right here. I think it looks super cute like this, but then I was like, you know, I can't stop. So I then put a line in, it almost makes it look like an X so it looks like it's real stitches. Um, you didn't have to do that. But friends, look at how cute this is. Are you kidding me? Put candy in it, whatever. I'm using yet another coffee can because I got a lot of them and I'm painting mine brown. I also have these half of egg, those Easter eggs. I have two of those and I painted those brown. Now I'm just sketching out really loosely with my chalk a little bit of a lion face. I do two eyes, a little triangle for a nose, circles. This isn't rocket science. Don't get crazy. It's supposed to be fun, right? Then I use some paint. I'm using black paint for the eyes and I'm just coloring in what the lines that I made, right? Then I'm using a light brown and I'm just coloring in the top of the lion's nose and now his little cheeks and then his little mouth. You, I, I can't wait for you to see this. <laughs> it is so much fun. Anyways, all right, and then I'm doing the little bottom part too, okay? And then I'm using the back of my paintbrush to do some marks on the eyes and the whisker marks. Now I'm taking that half an egg and I'm using this super fuzzy yarn and I'm, see how I'm putting it all the way around it? Now, this is what I'm, you're gonna do a ton of these. I wrap it around my fingers three times, cut it. Then I'm using jute because it ties really easily and it doesn't untie. So I'm using jute, but you could use just regular yarn. I'm tying it in the center. We're making like a pom-pom, but we're not gonna cut it up, okay? So there's that. And you'll cut off the excess of the jute, of course. Okay, you ready? Now, once everything is dry, you're gonna put some glue in the center and you're gonna build up that, it's, an, it's the upside down part of the lid, okay? So I built that up and then I put some more yarn, um, not yarn, <laughs> glue on those little egg parts and I'm gluing it on that. Oh, do you see it? <laughs> so now I have a red bow. I'm gonna glue that on the top 
as well. I'm using a Sharpie and I do some whiskers and a little bit of eyebrows. And now 15, 1100 of these little pom-pom things and we're gonna glue it all around the um, dried painted coffee can, okay? You wanna frame the face though because we want it to look like a lion, right? So I just keep gluing, gluing, are you kidding me? And here's something, friends, I am so sad to say I have failed my children they, my wee little ones still haven't seen Wizard of Oz and doing this project, I'm like, okay, well, now we have to do a Wizard of Oz night. So <laughs> that's what we're doing. Super fun. But you see how I'm just gluing, gluing, gluing all the way around. I know some of you are going to ask, how many did I do? I don't remember. <laughs> I just kept making pom-poms. I don't know, at least 20, at least 20. Um, I'm doing again gluing going around this now I did put some on the top I suppose I could have left it because I guess you know the cowardly lion did have a pretty hefty brow <laughs> but um I I didn't I covered it so that's that super cute though I'm so excited for my children to see the Wizard of Oz I don't know about y'all but it only used to play once a year we don't we didn't have it on replay so I'm excited for them to see it. Okay, so now on the bottom, I'm just looping some of this fuzzy yarn and I'm gluing it. See how I looped it? I'm just doing this for the bottom in front of the face just to frame his face. But are you kidding me? Look at how cute this is. Are you? Friends, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Friends, you've reached part three of our Wizard of Oz series. So exciting. All right, so I am having, this is a funnel. Friends, use plastic or metal. Don't use silicone like I did. Um, this is my coffee can. I'm painting each silver. This is a silver um, chalk paint that I got at Joann's. I'm doing two coats. Now I'm using some gem tack on the bottom of the funnel um, and I'm only putting it on parts and then I'm putting hot glue on the other parts just so that I can glue it to the top of our coffee can lid and it'll stay um, and it'll um, the hot glue helps be for right now but the gem tech helps for later right okay <laughs> anyways then I draw out with chalk all of my you know the two eyes and the mouth friends if you didn't know we're making tin man tonight how exciting right um tell me I would love to know in the comments tell me which was your favorite Wizard of Oz character I have to say I kind of like I like Tin Man, but I gotta be honest with you, those monkeys slay me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just filling in with some black paint, the eyes that I drew on. And again, I draw them on with chalk because we can easily wipe off the chalk when we're done and um, we can feel a little more secure in, in what we're drawing, right? So there's that. Um, and then obviously you want to let it dry really well. This one's face was really easy because it's just two eyes and a mouth. And then I'm going to glue on a, um, a little wooden piece for his nose. So um, easy peasy. And then we're going to do And yes, I am using a makeup brush. I just, I like makeup brushes. I feel like they're inexpensive and I can get a really good effect. And as you can see, I'm doing the mouth now and it's just a line. That's it. That's it. Easy peasy. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but friends, I do it works, right? Um, I also painted, it's a little wooden. It's like a little, hey, if you have the game Sorry, this is probably one of those game pieces, but this one happens to be wooden. Um, it was in my stash and I thought it would look good. So I just painted it silver and I painted a couple little wooden um, buttons silver as well. So everything was painted silver. And then I'm using the back of my uh, makeup brush and I'm just dotting a couple little white parts on the eyes just to make them look more, you know, expression. Um, I also had this really cool ribbon and I glued on the ribbon bow. And then this is the nose and I'm gluing, forgive the angle, boy, this is an awful angle. But anyways, I glued on the nose and then I'm gluing the two buttons on each side of his mouth. Look at how cute he is. I can't even stand it. So here we go. The two sides of the mouth are here and then I'm going to glue the other one on. Easy peasy. Um, look at how cute though. I can't, I mean, it's so simple, but oh my Lanta, are you kidding me? Look at how fun. And then I put his little hat on and we put it on crooked because everywhere I've seen he had a crooked hat. Anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching. Thank you.